Going bungee Why jumping. Bungee How are you feeling about bungee jumping? I'm still good. Yeah. Don't really realize it. Yeah. I'm not thinking about it either. I'm just not psyching myself out. Or about to go. I've I'm never avoiding been it, avoiding it. never been jump bungee jumping before. And I'm just I just decided why not. But it's actually <laughs> terrifying when I allow myself to think about it for a second. So I'm not allowing myself to think about it. <laughs> well, Let's see how that scary. goes. <laughs> I'm gonna be first. I don't know. I hopefully, I, I hopefully have the balls. What about you? How do you feel about it? I'm feeling lots right now. Are you sure? Are your legs shivering? My legs are not shivering. Look at her. She's zen. I'm, I'm, I'm deeply afraid. At the same time, I'm also excited. So. Uh, nice. How are you gonna jump from there? I have no uh, idea. I, I think I'll just jump forward. <laughs> okay, how much time do you think you'll be taking before jumping? I, I don't want to spend too long up there because no I'm longer. Like I'm just gonna what? not do it if I spend too long. I hope less than five seconds. I hope less than five seconds. Oh my god. How much time are you gonna take? <laughs> how much time before you jump off? Um, I feel like I'm gonna take like three minutes. <laughs> uh, no, but hopefully I take like two seconds. <laughs> Make the process easier. Oh, we got this. We're excited. I'm planning this. Hold on. We did it. We did it. It's over. How do you guys feel? I'm the worst. <laughs> I think we're all just processing. Feel good? Like it should. <laughs> I 
This is very different from. I once, yeah, but I haven't eaten yet. Oh, yeah. I just had some. It's August 19th, and it's the last Monday of this course. This is the last week. I have six days left. I cannot believe how fast this went by so far, and that I just have six days left, but. Just trying to stay present, not think about that, because I just am gonna be sad if I think about that. <laughs> I finally got like a full eight hours of sleep last night, which is amazing. I haven't been able to do that, so hopefully that it does me good. 6.24, Ashanga starts at 6.30, so gotta go. So I'm done with all the morning classes and I had lunch. It's currently 1 p.m. and I'm very tired. If you couldn't tell, it's like a reoccurring theme, but I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm going to go to the cafe to get some studying in. I either need to edit a video or plan a video or study some of the things I've been learning here. Um, I think it's just a lot that we've been learning and our Exam is going to come up at the end of the week, and I'm not even sure what's going to be on the exam yet or anything. But I feel like I just want to go over everything I've been learning because obviously it's a lot to all process, especially with like on my free time, I'm busy like talking to the other people here and like making connections and friendships and exploring Rishikesh. So it's like I feel like I don't have a lot of time to process all the information I'm learning. And also I don't have a lot of time to do self-practice when it comes to meditation and yoga because of like my free time I'm spending exploring and stuff. So I think it's important to set this time aside to just like even just try to be more mindful about like what exactly did I learn? Like what am I confused about, you know? And also something else like I'm so surprised about. I've been thinking about this a lot, how nice my skin looks. I'll insert a picture of how my skin looks just like two months ago this whole year i've been struggling a lot with like my face and breaking out and stuff and even if i like go clear skin for like a day i'll get another pimple the next day so i thought that my acne will be worse here because of the sweat and also because the food is different and things aren't as clean i don't know but my skin looks like the best it's looked this entire year so i'm just kind of Surprised about that, I guess. I don't know. One thing that's very popular to do while we're in Rishikesh is get an Ayurvedic massage. And I literally have like four days left. I've been wanting to get a massage this whole time, but I'm just been pushing it off, so. I have like very tense muscles because of all the weight lifting and I'm sore from all the Ashtanga yoga and so she really just gave it to me. She like went in. I feel so, so good. Yeah. I would definitely recommend that specific place was really nice. I know there's a lot of Ayurvedic massage places around here that one was very clean which was nice because i feel like if i'm gonna get a massage i want it to be in a clean space 
and just like super like calm energy in the space and the lady who did me or something with an r she was just very she didn't talk too much and was very calm in her energy so it was nice Check this out. I just went to the like sound healing store that we have here. And I got this little drum. That's something like a happy drum or something, but fun just playing around with it. Yeah, it's really cute. I have to get better lighting, but look how cute. And I'm obsessed with this bowl. Look at the, the inside is really cool. Let me show you. I'm excited to use this when I get back and start teaching yoga. And use this during Savasana. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> gone into a million shops and tested a million bowls. Um, but I have another lesson on Sunday, and then he just happens to be headed to the airport to pick up his wife on the Oh, he told me about day here and today's my like yoga teacher training exam um it's currently 5 30 in the morning and i'm teaching some ashtanga at 6 30 in the morning so I'm i woke up early to go and practice i'm excited to teach so i don't know the past couple days have been really hard for me i've been feeling really anxious overwhelmed and the most unstill and the most unyogi. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a lot. It's been a roller coaster. But I am just showing up. And this, I don't know if you hear that cow, but this yoga teacher training is not a yoga retreat. It's an intensive program, and this is what I'm getting, you know, this intensive program right now. So, I'm just here for it, you know, being present, but this is what I'm wearing.
24th. It's very bittersweet. I don't know. I've gone through like a roller coaster of emotions this week. We're doing the last, the last few student teacher practices, like the practical exam, and then we have like a fire ceremony, and then we're all eating together, and then I have to like pack and go home later. It's crazy, you know. I'm feeling ready. I feel like two days ago I was just not ready to go home, and then yesterday. I was just feeling ready. I was feeling like it's time. Things happen in mysterious ways, I don't know, but I'm feeling very mixed. <laughs> wow, it's so nice with the blue on the back. This posture is nice when you are here. And you, you can just like raise your hand. Yeah. Okay. You have our eyes closed or what do you want? Nice. We made it! Yeah. I'm happy to have AC when I come home. Yeah. 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 We're in, yeah, head up a little. Yeah, good. So, we'll see if it feels like the same. I feel like we should. Correct answer is the correct My answer. favorite. Actually, what even is that? I have no idea. Like, that's not my favorite. Oh, oh, you thought it was the. So, we just have one more exam, like the written exam, because I already did my practical and I didn't study for it at all. But I'm just hoping that my memory does me well. I guess we'll see. Well, I'll do a little fit check. It's comfy. The weather is so nice today too because it's not too hot. So that's cool because I miss wearing like comfy clothes that cover my body. Sometimes I just wanna like wear potato sacks and not tank tops every day, so this is cool. Okay, this is Ali and Eric. Hi. <laughs> they were here with me during the yoga teacher training, so I just wanted to get you guys' like, quick, short overview of like your overall experience here. <laughs> well, I thought the yoga, the, the classes were really good, the, the facilities were kind of meh, but the people we met here were really, really amazing. I made a connection with every single person. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but the, unfortunately the management facilities were not so great. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Okay, we were originally gonna try to leave because this place was really bad, but <laughs> but we're really I'm really glad we stayed because we were able to meet all these beautiful people and like so much support and love. Oh my god, I'm so glad you stayed. <laughs> oh, and are you gonna continue your yoga journey from here? And what would that look like? I mean, I definitely want to keep doing yoga, but um, I don't know if we'll do 300 hour, maybe, maybe not. So. Mm -hmm. We're definitely gonna practice on each other, try to create a yoga community wherever we settle, and, like teach each other, take turns being the teacher. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> This is 
is the end result. You like it? You like it? Very good, 10 out of 10. Yeah. How was your experience here? Like, just summarized. Wow. I'm feeling the pressure. Um, it was, it was just, it was amazing. It was amazing. It was okay, really and do you, like, how do you feel like your relationship with yoga? Oh, I feel like I, I got to know yoga much more than I like I ever did before. I feel like I, I was very, in a way, kind of restricted in my practice just because I didn't know. You know? Mm. And now I got to learn so many different styles in a way that I also have them. Yeah. I feel like I was probably officially doing hatha before. Yeah. But now I don't know. <laughs> got to know hatha very differently. Yin also a very different experience. And you guys are both great yin teachers. That's what they did for their practical. <laughs> Wait, you great Ashtanga teacher. We <laughs> have to say this for the protocol. Thank you. You're technically also a Yin teacher, so. Oh, that's true. Multi style. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Um, the question is, how do you feel like your relationship changed with yoga, or did it change at all? Yeah. I thought yoga was gonna be like it was gonna be all about like correcting my positioning and being like better at like knowing. But actually, I think it's like being better at like walking a path in life. That's that's lovely. Uh, that's lovely. Path. That's lovely. Wait, introduce yourself really quick. My name is Veronica. Where are you from? Germany. We got Germany here and Emily from England. England, we got like the whole world here, kind of. <laughs> but they came in like halfway through for their 100 hours, and I'm just so thankful that they came in. We didn't know they were coming, but they added so much to the experience. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm Marina from France. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so we just finished the. The, um, the courses and we just had super nice dinner. I'm really happy to celebrate <laughs> this moment with all the people that I uh, have met. I, I came here because I was like um, in the need of going somewhere else, totally different than I uh, knew with nobody that I know. And so this is like definitely a, a step uh, forward to, uh, in my life. So yeah. And uh, what can I say as a... Um, tell me how your relationship with yoga changed at all? I, I ju it just confirmed that this is something that was part of my life for a while, but I needed to give more space to it. And so now I'm totally uh, and definitely uh, sure that I have to give it more space to yo uh, of, uh, yoga to in my life. Mm -hmm. And so I already took a decision that I will stop one of the things I do uh, in my profession give more space to yoga but this doesn't mean that I'm gonna teach right away because I have a lot of work to do still yeah but yeah I'm, I'm feeling much more aligned much more calm because usually I'm super excited all the time <laughs> you know no I'm <laughs> no if it's, this is a little bit true yeah but uh, <laughs> yeah I'm feeling I'm feeling more aligned and this is what I'm looking for so I'm super grateful thank you so much for sharing <laughs>